Method acting. Now, an acting technique in which actors try to replicate the real-life emotional conditions under which the character operates in an effort to create a lifelike, realistic performance. Enforced method acting. Noun. An acting technique in which actors give a lifelike, realistic performance by actually experiencing the emotional conditions under which the character operates. Hi, my name is Shannon, and this is Alex. Hello. He's gonna be my guinea pig. Hey! Shush now. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about enforced method acting. Enforced method acting is a tactic some directors use to get their actors really acting. Directors will typically use enforced method acting on kids, teens, amateurs, novices, noobs, and people who are sometimes just flat out unwilling. Come on, let's go. We're gonna do some voice acting. Come on! Come on! Come on! Alright, come on! We're going to do some voice acting. We're going to have fun. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Easy. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Chill out. <clears throat> Don't you dare. See this? This will be important later. Now, enforced method acting was made famous by two pretty big names, Alfred Hitchcock and Stanley Kubrick, although I would advise that you don't use their forms of enforced method acting on anybody. These guys were pretty ruthless. During the 1963 movie The Birds, for five days straight, Alfred Hitchcock literally threw birds at Tippi Hendren. Bird! Sit down. Bird! Stand up. Bird! Pass out. Bird! 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 And Stanley Kubrick absolutely tortured poor Shelley Duvall. He'd scream and yell at her constantly. He even made Scatman Carruthers cry. What they did was just plain evil. No performance is worth all of that. Hitchcock once said that actors should be treated like cattle. That could not be further from the truth. Actors should be treated as human beings. Human beings with thoughts and feelings and emotions and ideas. With that being said, the easiest and the most tamest form of enforced method acting is tickling. Sometimes you need a real and genuine laugh out of your actors. Getting that laugh is sometimes hard because having to laugh for no reason is weird and awkward, especially if you're not used to it. Nine times out of ten, you might end up with something like this. Action! Ha 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 ha! Oh, stop. Or this. Action! Yikes! See? At least I'm not that bad. Point taken. <laughs> what the fuck was that? See, this is why you need to tickle them. Now, you want to make sure that you have some sort of relationship before you do this. Because you just don't want to go up to a stranger and be like, Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Tiku, 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 tiku. I dare say I have been assaulted. Ta -ta. That would be weird. And awkward. The better relationship you have with a person, the better this will go down. Now, there are two ways you can do this. There's the taser method. The sneak attack. TASER! Ah! This usually works pretty well. But since it's a sneak attack, you'll end up getting a lot of yelps and shrieks and squeaks and squeals. Now, if that's not what you're looking for, you can always mentally, physically, and emotionally prepare your actors for what's about to happen. Most actors like to stand or sit while this is happening, while 
others like to lay down in a very vulnerable and prone position for back support. I, I don't know. It's a personal preference. Let's get started, shall we? Ready? Yeah, sure. What do you mean, yeah, sure? Go ahead. You better sound more ready. I'm ready. You sure? Yeah. Now, sometimes your actors will still try and be big tough guys, and will try their hardest not to succumb to the tickles, leaving you with a lot of grunting and moaning sounds. Your tickle game is weak. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It is. Which isn't the reaction you want unless you're animating something like this. Mr. Zombie can't poop. Mr. Zombie can't poop. Oh no! Mr. Zombie can't poop! Why can't Mr. Zombie poop? He had too much cheese. Zombies don't eat cheese, they eat brains. He needs a laxative or a prune juice. Yay! <laughs> now, if you're making something like that, then go off then. But if you're not, and you're not getting the kind of reaction you want, you might just have to take it one step further by either going under no, or lifting no. up the shirt and tickling the bare skin. Please no. 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 I don't like it. <laughs> it helps to know where the tickle spots are. Well, what other body part no, of the body no. did you want to fucking to tickle? Jesus. <laughs> 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 no, no, you're going to turn me into the Pillsbury Doughboy, no, no. <laughs> God. Ah, okay, 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 yeah. Right. Uh. <sighs> Alright. Catch your breath. Okay, okay, okay. Just ready. Just. Catch your breath now. Alright. Longer. Catch your breath. Alright. Now, this should only last from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. And let me tell you, those first couple of seconds, that's gonna be your sweet spot. If you go any longer than that, you're gonna end up with breathless exhaustion. Now, if you need them to be breathless, then you can do that, but don't expect them to be very happy with you. Unless... God. Just admit it. You you're like having your hands on me. <laughs> Shut up! Uh, it's cool. But those are rare circumstances, so I would advise against it. Speaking of breath, it's very important for you to give your actors a chance to breathe and catch their breath. It's just the right thing to do. Plus, if you don't, you might end up with a dead or passed out person on the floor. And that don't be very hard to explain. Oh shit, 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 shit. What's going on here? He's sleepy. Shannon. Mm -hmm. Got my breath. <laughs> Ay Dios mío. Eres tan cosquilloso. Muy lindo. Mira. No más. No más por un tiempo. Ve a tomar cinco. Y gracias por tu ayuda. Now. Let's see how miraculously enforced method acting can change a scene. Sassy. Without enforced method acting. <laughs> Why do people in the deep south use sassy as an excuse for bad behavior? <laughs> I mean, for real. they just be like, Oh, you know, I was just being sassy. No, Savannah. You're not sassy. You're a bitch. It's just like when people use zodiac signs to justify bad behavior. Oh, you know, I just stabbed that girl in her throat. Libra things. 
Sociopath things. <laughs> Sassy. With enforced method acting. <laughs> Why do people in the Deep South use sassy as an excuse for bad behavior? I mean, for real. They'd just be like, Oh, you know, I was just being sassy. <laughs> no, Savannah. You're not sassy. You're a bitch. <laughs> it's just like when people use zodiac signs to justify bad behavior. <laughs> oh, you know, I just stabbed that girl in her throat. Libra things. <laughs> Sociopath things. <laughs> the giggle of possibility. Without enforcement method acting. Okay, so... Tazon Day pretty much describes it like this. It's that warm feeling inside that makes you all giddy and giggly. I guess that possibility is hope. Hope for something in the future, I think. So basically, no damn possibility, no damn giggle. The giggle of possibility with enforced method acting. Okay, so. Taison Day pretty much describes it like this. It's that warm feeling inside that makes you all giddy and giggly. I guess that possibility is hope. Hope for something in the future, I think. So basically, no damn possibility, no damn giggle. <laughs> 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 Pretty big difference, right? It really changed the tone, didn't it? That's enforced method acting. It's a really great way to add real, raw emotion and character and color to a scene. And it's a great way to connect to your actors as actors and people. The act of tickling and being tickled releases all those feel-good hormones and chemicals into your body, like serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine. So, it's a really good form of social bonding. <laughs> hey. And flirting. <laughs>